the recent February tier list has come out, Grimmsnarl has fallen down to the NU tier, aka the never used tier. Now while yes, it is a fair bit disappointing, this isn't an unknown for this prankster creature. In fact, upon its release within the 8th generation Sword and Shield, it was also an NU tiered Pokemon. While its prankster sets have always been solid, it has always been disregarded when we look into the OU tiers and below, primarily because it's too passive. When we look in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as well, the story written is eerily similar for this sluggish monster. But just like the last generation, it outdoes itself to be within the uber's tier of competitive play. The tier for legendary Pokemon to compete against one another it is a very cutthroat competitive tier whether you're either good or not. Let us deep dive in and see what is going on with Grimmsnarl and how it fares in the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's uber's competitive tier. If you guys haven't already and you are new and you enjoy the content, be sure to subscribe for more competitive Pokemon content just like this. In uber's, there are two common themes for Grimmsnarl that it loves to take advantage of, and that is Prankster and Screens. To illustrate this entire thing, let me explain Grimstar's ability of Prankster. Prankster is an ability that allows a user to gain priority on supporting moves like Taunt, which means they can move first. However, these Prankster moves that are applied to other Pokemon such as Taunt won't affect other Dark type Pokemon on the field of play. Light Screen Reflect, or essentially Dual Screens, are moves affected by the Prankster ability and is super important in Ubers because Screens and Ubers allow Pokemon to absorb strong hits, especially from the likes of heavy hitters such as Arceus or or Coridon. This as well can also work for your side's favor and allow powerful Ubers Pokemon to gain boost in Calm Mind Miraidon or Swords Dance Coridon. Because screens offer a lot of bolster bulk for your side, it is very easy to set up for your side of the field. In Ubers, it can be found difficult at times to purposely shift a lot of the momentum to your side because of the titans you face, and the only effective way people have found is mitigating the damage as much as possible. Hence, the importance of Grimstar being able to set up screens prior to the opponent's move using its pranks ability. Grimstar as well can extend these screens for a max number of turns when it holds the light clay. And other than screens, Prankster as I mentioned and alluded before also allows for one of his greatest strengths in Taunt. Taunt is a great move and has been greatly used so far in the metagame to shoo away Pokemon such as ho -Oh or Skeledred, who greatly use Will-O-Wisp in order to whittle down physical attackers for Pokemon such as Coridon or NDM AK Necrozma Duskmane. Taunt also allows for them not to recover in between turns with Roost or Slack Off, which puts them in a binding position on their back foot when they're up against you. Grimstar also has another prominent supporting move in Parting Shot, and Parting Shot is a passive U-turn move where it instead lowers down the offenses of the Pokemon, then is able to switch out into another Pokemon. It can help one of the big titans, such as NDM for example, take advantage when it switches into another huge Pokemon like Arceus, as Arceus' offenses will be lowered as Grimstar switches into Necrozma Duskmane. The amount of sheer tools Grimstar has to capitalize on Ubers has been insane, and its passivity here is able to outshine it within the tier of Legendaries, Within the OU tier, this has become one of its biggest weaknesses. The likes of King Gamut is able to ridiculously take advantage of it and scare it out too easily as Dark and Fairy isn't exactly the ideal typing for a supporting Pokemon. Although King Gamut and to a lesser degree of Goldango isn't that common in Ubers, it still is a prominent role in OU which scares out Grimmsnarl's passivity. With OU as well also being more fast paced than Ubers in my opinion, it can also be hard to reliably get up screens and then go from there, especially since many hyper offensive teams can take advantage of its limited offenses and take the time to set up and then blow past teams as soon as the screens are off. Core Change Cinderace is also pretty common and that can switch the size of the screens pretty easily and Cinderace compared to Ubers isn't as common. The only legitimate prankster stopper in Ubers is Ting Lu, but that has been a daunting threat for it as well as it's a bulky Pokemon that is immune to all the pranks moves like Taunt or Parting Shot because Ting Lu is part Dark type. Although being part Fairy allows Grimstar to use Play Rough to help mitigate any more momentum stopping purpose Ting Lu hopes to have, Whirlwind Ting Lu, Spikes, etc. is still pretty daunting and a pretty handy task for Grimmsnarl to get rid of. Thus, it is no wonder that Grimmsnarl is able to dominate in the Ubers tier more because the Pokemon that killed it in the OU tier aren't as prevalent other than Ting Lu within the Ubers tier. Greens are very valuable in a metagame defined by sheer willpower, so mitigating that is more impactful than a more hyper-offensive fast-paced metagame in the lower tiers. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think about Grimmsnarl and Ubers and thank you to my members for their continued support. If you wish to support me even further, the links to my YouTube membership and Patreon are down below. Thanks for watching.